The delta notation in mathematics is a specific way of showing about the change. So whenever you see this delta, you always have to think about change. So how do we actually calculate the change? So when I write delta x equals x2 minus x1, what do I mean by that? Well, x is some kind of quantity, some sort of uh, product, can be price, can be uh, quantity demanded, can be income, anything. And in mathematics, when we talk about numbers 1, 2, 3, one is usually the initial price or the starting price, two would be the final price. So the change in any quantity is always the final minus the initial. So far, nothing too complicated. But in some calculation, you may have come across with change being positive or the change being negative. Now, what's the difference in here? Well, if the change is positive, that means that this that x2 minus x1 is positive. So, the final price is bigger than the initial price. So, positive change means that there has been a price increase if we're talking about price or some kind of quantity increase. Now, what does it mean for me if I'm talking about negative? Well, if I end up with a negative here in the difference, that means that x1, the, the quantity I'm taking away, is the bigger one. So, that means that the initial price was bigger than the final price if we're talking about price or the initial quantity was bigger than the final quantity. So in this particular case we would be talking about a price fall or some quantity fall but the important the importance in here is that if the change is positive we're talking about increase and if the change is negative we're talking about a fall or decrease. So let's look at an example so demand changed from 3,575 to 3,277. So what is the change in demand? So I want to calculate the change in demand. Demand is Q in economics. So I need to calculate the final demand minus the initial demand. Now looking at that sentence, change from to tells me which is the initial and which is the final. So the initial price, uh, sorry, the initial quantity was 3,575 and the final quantity is 3,277. So the change will be, picking up the calculator, just quickly type in 3277 minus 3575. So pick up the calculator. 3277 minus 3575 is equal to minus 298. Now, what does it tell us? Well, it tells us the obvious, which we would already know by just looking at the quantities, that the demand has dropped from 3,575 to 3,277. So remember, every time you see a negative change, that, ne that means a fall, a decrease, or a drop. 